Princesse de Résistance. It is the prize Christmas present. It is two days stand-up comedy course. <laughs> Big, bold, funny, life and soul of a party, basically. Centre of attention, good fun, very kind, very generous. Um, that was probably what attracted me to him in the first place, really. Very caring, always thinks of his children first, will always put his children first. And to me, he's my rock and my world. Probably the most intelligent man in the room. That's what I, that's what I remember him as. I'm in a meeting and I get a phone call. The paramedic was on the line and wanted to talk to me. He, uh, he'd collapsed five minutes in uh, to his speech that he was doing on financial planning. He said he rushed outside, got in my car and drove to Northampton. Should I phone his mum and dad? Should I phone the children? What do I do? Don't even, didn't even know he'd had a stroke at that point. I was convinced then that he definitely knew something had happened. <laughs> so. Well, Nick couldn't, couldn't move. Um, could have no movement down his right side at all, couldn't move his arm, couldn't move his leg, um, couldn't speak at all. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting just how severe it was. His speech was his job, his speech was his life, he loved stand-up comedy, he did so much speaking. I think to lose that is cruel, like, and it is really cruel. Uh, speech, uh, gone, gone. You know, three and a half years later, you're still getting to terms with that. Um, sort of not ever still knowing whether you're going to ever hear him say sentences, ever make a speech at your wedding, anything like that. Like, that, to me, is still something that I quite, find quite difficult. And he's still my dad, but it's not the same as when you were growing up. I was in hospital, I was sitting there for all the hours every day, I started writing a bit of a diary so I can just read a little bit out. And it feels like we've been dealt a cruel hand, uh, why us? We were so, so happy together and as a family. The fact that he may never be the same person again, he's my best friend, having known him for 35 years. <laughs> How will we cope with all this? All our plans are in shreds. As much as there is a rain for the stroke station, I think in Wales we lack it a bit. So I think we've been trying to get more funding into the Welsh to try and pick up a bit more here. So we just thought, let's come together, let's get some ideas. And then obviously Dad wanted to get involved to show that he can still do stuff even though he's had a stroke. So yeah, a lot of motivation and determination in our family, I think. They said, why don't you do this Cardiff to Tembe bike ride? So. The team we were part of was all people who were stroke survivors and it was really, really tough. He did really well. He did about 40, 40 of the miles. Um, it was really hard for him because of the right side weakness he's got. Hates bikes, hates bikes, yeah. The next big thing we did was it's a knockout through working with the Stroke Association, through all the contacts that we've got. We managed to get 12 teams entered and had a fantastic day uh, down in the Vale. We've done 10k races, our local butchers fundraised for Nick. Another colleague of Nick's, he uh, wanted to do this driving challenge and we decided to do the London to Paris. 300 miles in four days. Uh, we've done cake sales, calendars, an aquathon, just giving. We rope everybody in. So, so far, I believe we're at 57,000, which is an amazing achievement. I think we'll continue looking at different types of events we can do and just continue to fundraise, I think, and continue to help fund um, the Stroke Association Wales, really. His next event now is going to be running, so I, I've persuaded him to enter the 5k, um, five kilometre race in Devorden here where we live, which is going to be next May. Oh, at running? Goodness me. Just because you've had a stroke doesn't mean you can't still have objectives and still have goals and still want to do things, so hopefully that will help others. If, if anything to me, I'm prouder now than I was of him when I was younger. And he's even more made me a daddy's girl now than when I was younger. Sorry. So. <laughs>